This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody, here comes the ramble. Yeah, it's me, Alex. And the ramble, and we go on until uh, midnight tonight, uh, Eastern Day, e- Eastern Standard Time. Standard Time. Standard Time. Standard Time. Standard Time. Anyway, hi, how are you? Oh, on a little a couple of seconds early tonight, I guess. I, I didn't time out the promos enough. Anyway, uh, we're going to be here until the until uh, until midnight. And we'll have our citizens panel in just a bit, but uh, let's have a conversation, um, you know, with one of our old friends. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, live, direct from California, Larry Bubbles Brown. Hello, Larry. Hello, Alex. How are I you doing? i never see another turkey again. I'll be... <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yes. How, how many did they kill for that? Last week. Well, you know what they do? They uh, they uh, in in Washington, uh, they take two turkeys. One is named Wishbone, and another one was named uh, I don't know Thigh or something. I don't know. Anyway, and they put them up at the Four Seasons Hotel. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. And then they trot them over to the White House. At which point, the president picks the turkey that will be pardoned. Ooh. Meaning, of so course, little... that the other one goes to the slaughterhouse, I guess. E. And the one that gets pardoned then gets to spend the rest of its life lazing out in green pastures somewhere. Of course, mm-hmm. what's the average life of a turkey anyway? So, you know. I never heard it of a turkey. supposed to be incredibly stupid. And I never heard of them dying of old age, did you? No, I think they go like five years in the wild or something oh, like that. Oh, are they really that long? I think so, yeah. Like really? chickens. Son of a gun. Because most of them get eaten. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, uh, and, uh, well, the wild ones are edible, aren't they? Oh, very, yeah, very much so. Yeah, so they go out hunting the wild ones as well. But uh, you and I both love animals so much. I just wondered, are, are, I'm very conflicted about eating like turkeys and things like that. I don't yeah, uh, I I don't mind turkey. I love turkey. Uh, I love it, but I feel bad for I feel bad for having them killed, though. Yeah, and uh, now I and also it's the time of year where you're meant to eat. Okay, you're meant to eat lots of turkey, and uh, problem is I'm on a, I've been on this diet right, and I've kept it off. I've pretty well kept it off, but the last couple of days it it's kept creeping up a little bit. Uh, to like 189, and I like to keep it around 186 or 87, right? So I have that breathing room, but I still I've lost over 55 pounds. God, but, amazing! But but yet today I got on this, uh, you know, the day day before uh, Thanksgiving I got on the scale and I was like 189, which is a high point. I don't like to go higher than that. I don't like to go higher than 188, and so th- then I'm going to like not eat a lot at the table. I'm going to, you know, I'm not going to, you know, either that or I'll eat a lot and then I'll gain weight. I don't know. Or then I get on the scale and I've lost it. I can't tell what makes me go up and what makes me go down anymore. So, 189, you're tall, though. That's pretty thin. Well, it's it's okay. It's all right. You know, I should be. What, you look at what they say are the, 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 you're supposed to weigh, you know, they say the ideal weight and whatever. Mine is 177. So, yeah, those charts are like uh, yeah for for people that are emaciated. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I'm uh, the high end is 177, so I'm like uh, 10 pounds hot, hot heavier than I should be. But if I was thinner than that, I, I I got down to where I got to that because I got depressed about something and I didn't eat for a week or something. And I, I suddenly spiraled downward. And you don't want to get to lose too much weight because then you become emaciated and then sometimes you can't gain it back, you know? Yeah, well, the depression diet's a good one. Yeah, I mean, you want wasting disease for a week. 
you know, but I mean, you don't want to be on that. But you can get to a, I was talking to my wife because she's got cancer, my ex-wife. She has cancer, and she was saying that, you know, the hardest part for her is keeping the weight on. Yeah, and then you feel you know, the opposite. You and know. you don't want to get down to a point where you get to that wasting point at which you cannot recover from that. You can you could go out, you could eat a ton of food, and you would not gain sufficient weight to get past that wasting area. It's a, some I didn't know this, but so I don't like to see myself losing a lot of weight fast, you know. So Yeah. But right now I'm a little over what I want to be, so but I've still lost a hell of a lot of weight, so fuck it, you know. But yeah, uh, we, you never had to go on a diet, right? You're skinny. no, I did. I was very, very fat in high school, so I've always carried that fat. I've always worried about being fat again, so I always have that image of me. So, I can't yeah, imagine I, Larry Bubbles Brown ever being fat. I'll put a picture up on Facebook. I look like a beach ball with a head. I was just oh, disgusting. It was just really horrible. Little, little roly poly Larry, right? That's when I was drinking. Uh, remember, Coke used to come in those little six ounce bottles, and they yeah. had those wooden crates of twenty four bottles. Yeah, I used to I used to drink a crate of those a day. So, how many teeth do you have left in your mouth? I yeah, I'm surprised I have any teeth. I'm surprised I didn't get diabetes because I was just uh, I was so addicted to that stuff. And, yeah, yeah. But now you and I are both addicted to sugar free Coke. Yeah. Yeah, which they, they always tell you that's bad for you too. Oh, it's got that uh, that uh, what is it? Uh, uh, aspartame. You're a, you aspartame got here the last twenty. Years. You're poisoning yourself. Feeding a lot of lanolin, something like that, and uh, you're poisoning yourself. Well, okay, I'll go back to the sugar asshole. Yeah. You know, <laughs> well, you don't have to drink those at all. Yes, I do. You know why? Because they taste good, and they are, and Coke is refreshing. It's great, and water. Coke is the greatest drink ever. Water sucks. What water is horrible, doesn't it? <laughs> to, to begin with, to begin with, uh, uh, you know, f- fish piss in it, and <laughs> and shit in it, and uh, if water is so goddamn good, uh, how come you can drown in it? You know, I mean, <laughs> come on. You never heard of anybody falling into a vat of Coca Cola and drowning, did you? Huh? <laughs> Be very- That'd be very refreshing. (laughs) You know, fuck you with your don't eat this and don't drink that, and this is bad for you, and this is good for you. You never went in on it. You're not in any of those kind of things, are you? I mean, you're not like a vegetarian or... I was for three years, and I would like to get back to it again, but uh, just not... I just don't like to see animals. Uh, Well, I... I, Once I decided I was going to become a vegetarian, this was back... God, when I was in my late 20s. And uh, somebody said, yeah, you should become a vegetarian. Hey, there's a great vegetarian restaurant down the street. Okay. So I went with this person to the vegetarian restaurant. It was on 57th Street, I remember. I don't think it's there anymore. And uh, we went in and I sat down and I looked at the menu. And they had like vegetarian hamburgers vegetarian this was before all the veggie stuff vegetarian uh, turkey vegetarian meatloaf and i'm going you people are dying for meat you know i thought i would come in here and you say what kind of carrot would you like <laughs> you know what kind of head of lettuce do you want uh, to make your wedge of lettuce out whatever no you're taking stuff and trying to make it seem like it's meat. So how are you then becoming a vegetarian? How are you then weaning yourself off of, off of uh, uh, you know, and they looked at me like I was crazy. You know, how can you say that? Yeah. <laughs> it's a vegetarian restaurant. We make, wouldn't you like the vegetarian meatloaf? No, I want meatloaf. And so I, so I ate some of this stuff, like the faux hamburger and the faux meatloaf and whatever, and I said, this is the biggest piece of shit i've ever eaten in my life and i said that's it <laughs> and then then, then then everywhere i would go i went down to the i was working for abc at the time so i went down to the abc cafeteria to have breakfast or to have lunch and I, yeah i could say give me the peas but what are those specks in there oh that's ham you know oh well, i like the mashed potatoes yeah it's got it's got ham in it too 
everything. It was like people were everything constantly coming. trying yeah. to force me to. It was like a Jew going to somebody's house for dinner, and they f- want to see if they can get you to eat pork. <laughs> you know. <laughs> So it was. I just found it was impossible to be a vegetarian because even if I wanted to be, you just there were so many impediments to becoming a vegetarian that I just didn't want to, you know, do the uh, the hurdle as it were. It is hard, and uh, yeah. But you love animals. What can you do? Well, no, but you know, I don't love cows. I mean, I don't love steers. Okay, I don't love lambs. I mean, I. These are They're adorable. But, but it, it, we we should not feel guilty for being at the top of the at the bottom of the food chain or the top of the food. What are you? We're at the top of the food chain, right? Uh, we should not feel guilty about that. Fuck it, you know. Am I right? I guess I don't know. I I, I got to become vegetarian again. I think. Uh, but but uh, do you eat steak? Um, uh, no, not at all. Hamburgers. Mostly no, a chick, it's always chicken and turkey. Yeah, well, now it, it, tell me the last time you ever had a meaningful relationship with a chicken or a turkey. <laughs> uh, I had a pet chicken when I was a kid. Did you really? Yeah. Did it have a name? Uh, Perky, I think was his name. Perky. Perky. Now, how did you have a chicken? Did you live out in the country? No, no, it was the suburbs of Cincinnati. I think uh, how we, I'm trying to remember how we I wound up with him. And he got killed by the dog next door. <laughs> <laughs> Who wasn't a vegetarian. Killed, yeah, then the neighbor came over with the carcass and said, would you like to cook it? Um, yeah. Like that, like that was going to make it better. It was so, going to make you know. it better, yeah. But you actually had a chicken in the house? Uh, no, it was in the backyard. Oh, Okay. And he just what, he didn't have he any. Ran other, around the backyard. And the, but there were no other chickens there. No, he just. He you didn't think to one. get him another chicken just as a he friend. He got a mate, so the dog would have killed him too. So. He, yeah. Well, I mean, the dog sees a chicken, right? What's he going to do? That's why I hate. That's why I hate. I think Mother Nature's a cunt if you look at it this way. This just every living thing is killing another living thing. It's horrible. Um, but it. I don't know. It's the way things are, I think, you know. Uh, it's the way they are, but it's still horrible. Well, it's, it, but is it horrible or is it nature? It's nature and horrible. You know, I had a um, a woman I knew. It's a woman that I actually uh, inherited, her, inherited half of her photographic collection of photographs she's taken. Oh, I remember that, yeah. And uh, just, got, just got my 75 grand to spend to go out and promote her which is terrible to get 75 grand you can't spend on yourself you know you can't spend it on yourself at all no no wow i mean i suppose i could i suppose i could do anything with the money i wanted to there's nobody looking over my shoulder and nobody really cares but you know there's a certain part of me that goes this woman died she left me seventy five thousand dollars, which is half of the hundred and fifty thousand that she left and um she expected me to use that to promote her so I it, my conscience won't let me. Yeah, that would be the karma thing. But, might. but here, here, here's the thing: she had, she had a cat. She had several cats, but she had this one cat, uh, and uh, she was a vegetarian, and all her life, uh, and always looked unhealthy all her life. By the way, I will say that uh, you know that she always looked a little paler than anybody else, and looked like she could use a good steak. Okay, all right, so. Uh, she had a cat. She made this cat be a vegetarian. Now, cats naturally, what do they like? They want their fish, they, their chicken. They have to have meat, yeah. You know. They they the meat is part of their diet. And you don't force your pet to be a vegetarian. I'm That's sorry. Mis- that you, must have been a miserable cat. Oh, the cat his name was Butchkey. And he was the he was just a mean cat. He had this. He had they, never got a good meal. Yeah, with a name like Butchkey. I mean, to begin with, you name the cat Butchkey, it's not going to be a happy cat. What's your name, cat? Butchkey. You know. Uh, and and she, she maybe that's the reason I should go out and spend all our money on me. I'll go out and spend it on steaks. Uh, <laughs> you know, I just, I just, uh, uh, so she, 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 
tried to make her, her cat a vegetarian. Uh, and that was a down a uphill fight, you know. Oh my God! But uh, that's, that's, yeah, that's cruelty to animals. So, what's the strangest thing you like to eat? So my diet is so limited. It's just it's veggie burgers, turkey burgers, pasta, and diet coke. I think that's that's the only thing I eat. Really, that's it. Pretty much, yeah. Because uh, my my uh, I my favorite food, you know, my 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 what do I call it? Uh, uh, what's the food when you eat food and you, comfort food? Is tripe. You know, Ugh. you know what tripe is, right? Yeah, it's disgusting, right? It, it's the cow inner lining of the cow's stomach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh God! No, but it, I'm telling you, I love it. I make it. I make it. I make a, a great tripe. You just cut it into strips, and then you put it into a pot with some uh, kind of a tomato sauce base. It's not much of a sauce you have to make. And then you let it cook for several hours until it's nice and soft. And uh, it has this kind of fuzzy. It's on, well, fuzzy on one side and slick on the other. And I love tripe. It's called menudo in Mexico. Okay. And, yeah. and I love it. And I'll tell you why I love it. My mother used to make it. So, you you know, you would have dinner and you would have tripe. And I learned to love tripe. And it, it's a comfort food because I have a... a yeah, you know, my memory goes back to when I was a kid, and we would sit around the table eating uh, tripe. Is it bad for you? No, not at all. Not at all. I mean, it. It. You know, it. In in other countries, they use every inch of the cow that they possibly can because uh, you know they're poor countries. So you learn how to make kidneys and uh, brains and all that other stuff. And these are what are called the sweetbreads. And uh, uh, tripe is the king of the sweetbreads. I I just love it. And when it, if you don't tell people what it is, they may eat it and enjoy it, you know, because it's very tasty. And uh, so that's that's my that's <laughs> my go to food when I want to make other people around me vomit. So you you're know. A, yeah, you're a braver man than I. I I don't think I could do that. Did you ever do snails? Oh no. See. Now, snails are a different situation. I wonder whether snails are really all that good. You know, they have to make them in a garlic sauce. You know, they, they make, cook them in garlic and so on, and you dip them in garlic. So when you're doing all that dipping, is it that the snail has a taste of its own or that you're putting the taste into the snail? No, I think I think you can eat anything if you Dip it into the right stuff. Yeah. yeah. So here's the deal with snail. I think it was invented by some guy who just wanted to impress his girlfriend. Look what I can eat. Probably yeah. some disgusting Frenchman. Yeah, and he just found a way to do it. You know, but uh, I um, I went over to somebody's house for dinner one night, and they decided all they were going to have, they weren't going to tell me what they were having, and all they were going to have is snail. Escargo. It's, it's the French call give it a nice name. And it comes in these little snail sargophaguses. You don't take them out of the shell. You, um, they, can, they can actually put them in this little plate with little holes in it. And uh, you, uh, you, you take one and you eat it. And so because there was nothing else for dinner, I had to do this. Because I wasn't going to upset the host by saying, I'm not going to eat your fucking snails. So I ate the the snails, and I went, it's not bad, you know. I mean, once you got past the idea that these were snails, uh, it wasn't bad. It it had a garlicky taste, which I enjoy, and, you know, whatever. But I, over the years, I've said to myself, every time I've ever done it, I, you know, why would I go out of my way to have snail? Because it's just not... It's not good. Tripe, I can tell you, you can make very tasty. You know, it's in a tomato <laughs> sauce, and it has an interesting texture because in food, texture is everything, you know. But a snail? Fuck you, you know. So I, 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 I can't tell you the last time I had escargot. Only the last, last time I did it was when I was trying to impress a woman. 
Yeah. And I suppose today she would say that was harassment. So, you know, I... <laughs> he ate snails in front of me. Well, I, I think, you know, when you talk about guys, you know, and, and we were talking about this last week, that I'm really afraid for guys. we got to stand up as guys. we got to start taking a stand here and say, okay, enough is enough. Now, we know you were upset by this situation. Let's go with the people who were truly upset, not the people who were forced to see some guy's ugly penis, right? <laughs> uh, and, and it never went in anywhere, and nobody was asked to touch it, and, you know, whatever. Uh, but guys always are trying to impress women. There's no question about that, and I'm sure that's how bullfighting was invented. Yeah. You know, that some guy said, See that bull out there? See this cape I've got here? I'm going to go out there. I'm going to wave this cape at the bull, and it's red, so he's going to see it, and then he's going to come charging, and I'm going to, you know, miss him. Well, the thing is that, in fact, uh, the bull will always go for the cape and not you. In other words, if you're holding the cape out, he's mm -hmm. not going to suddenly say, well, there's a guy next to it. Fuck cape. I'm going to get the guy. So you, you simply put it out there and the bull comes and then you do the flourish and the bull runs past the cape. Ta-da, stupid cow. Guy gets laid, right? <laughs> uh, so that's how I'm th I think bullfighting was invented. Uh, Obviously, yeah. And I think snails were invented about, see that snail on the ground? Guess what? Watch this. I'm going to eat it, <laughs> right? You know, to impress some girl. Who probably then vomited all over the guy, but you know, um, uh, I, I, somebody once said milk was invented by the bravest guy in the world ever was the guy who discovered milk, because he said to the girl, he says, "See that animal over there? That's a cow. <laughs> See those things hanging out from underneath the cow? Those are called udders. I'm going over there and I'm going to get some white creamy stuff to come out of those udders, and then I'm going to drink it." Now, what would you think? You would think that's disgusting. What is that? It's like mm -hmm. sperm? What is it? You know, but that I say the bravest guy ever was the guy who invented milk. You know, discovered milk. Cows invented milk. So, you know. Uh. Now, is there any food you've ever been forced to eat because you were at somebody's house and they were having it and you didn't want to upset them? Uh, I think there was something where it was kind of like the, uh, like that Seinfeld thing where I forgot what it was, but it's got a lot of like chewing and then putting it in the napkin. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, they're, they're delicious. Oh, oh boom. yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I never had to do that. I, I usually I've been pretty good about it. If people had something that was unusual and they were serving it for dinner, I just, you know. I will say, I, I, eating at someone's house always makes me a little nervous because you don't know what how clean the kitchen is and what they're actually putting in. Did there. I ever have you over for dinner? Because I used to make dinner no, all the time no. for uh, like bunches of people. At, at, you had me over, but we never had dinner. Oh, yeah, but Thanksgiving, I always used to just invite everybody over, didn't have anywhere to go on Thanksgiving, and I would make a turkey and you know, hold. Oh, that's right. You had, you had all the uh, homeless comics come over. All the homeless comics, yeah. The, Alex yeah. bet it's home for homeless comics. Uh, yeah, you did that. That was nice. Yeah, I don't know if you ever came to one of those. No, you had the family here, so. Uh, yeah, you, yeah, so you had somewhere to go. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. the uh, holidays are. Uh, <laughs> Well, com it's good you did that because holidays, uh, you know. Well, comics people traditionally very depressed. Comics traditionally didn't, you know, were from out of town and didn't have anywhere to go, and so I always made a place at the table for them, you know, so that they could, uh, you know. Um, have Do you know how to cook? Yes, I. It's self defense. I uh, never learned to cook. I had a wife leave me. And I learned that I, if I didn't start learning how to cook, I would starve to death. And so I learned how to do that. I learned how to sew. I learned how really? to do all wow. the things. Yeah, so I could be a self-sufficient man and not have to depend upon a woman for any of those, uh, those things. And usually women were trained as kids how to cook, how to sew, how to do all that crap, you know. Um, but, uh, I, uh, I just, I, I was just very, uh, uh, 
uh, much into, into, into creating preservation for myself. And that's, that's what I did, and it worked. You know, I was very good at it. I, I, I can still make a mean turkey, but my wife won't let me. She says, I make the best turkey. Well, I'll let her believe that, mm-hmm. you know. But I have ways of making turkey and so on that it's a little late now to tell people, but I used to use burgundy wine to base the turkey so that when you were through, you had a gravy that was also tasted of burgundy as well. And uh, made for a very brown-looking turkey and all of that. So, you know, I, I was always very proud of my turkey. But I can't make it okay. anymore because my wife goes, now, I make the best turkey. So, okay, all right, all right. You and you it. can sell. It's amazing. Well, I don't know if I remember anymore. But, I, I, you know, buttons were falling off and I had to put them back on. So I taught myself, you know. Hey! I can't even. <laughs> I'm, hel- I'm helpless. I can't tie a tie. So. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the man who can't tie a tie and never will wear one for that reason. That's right. Larry Bubbles Brown. Thank you, Larry. Thanks for having me, Alex. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Hey, how how are you? What's happening? Uh, is the light on? Yeah, the light's on back there. Hi, how are you? I'm Alex Bennett. This is the uh, this is the Ramble, and uh, we're here, uh, and uh, we're now going to start taking calls from people. And what we do is we use a thing called Skype. If you want to know how to get a hold of us using Skype or any other way, there's also a phone number as well. Just simply go over to gabnet.net and uh, check us out. Okay. Uh, and it, uh, on the right-hand side of the page, it will tell you everything you need to know about how you can participate in this little thing we do here at night. Uh, but anyway, uh, I, uh, uh, I have uh, the lines are open now, and uh, uh, I'm, go- I'm going to need people calling tonight. We don't have Phil isn't calling tonight. So, you know, uh, that makes a lot of you probably say, okay, that's, that's good. Uh, Phil isn't calling. I'll call Alex. And I'll participate. Otherwise, I'm going to sit here and I'm just going to babble and say nothing much of anything, waiting for people to call, and I don't want to have to do that either. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm for some reason I am just really tired tonight. I don't know why. I I've been tired all day, and then my wife comes home from work and she's exhausted. And I think it's I, I think it is a light deprivation or something. You know, where where we get the, 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 the we're about ready to come up to our winter solstice in which we get the shortest day of the year. And that's gotta really throw you off, you know. So anyway. Uh so I'm a little tired tonight, so I could use a bunch of people who want to talk up a storm and uh be part of this uh this little uh, little thing we do called the citizens panel. Not as many people watching the TV tonight as we have been watching us in the last week, so I don't know. We're probably going back to nobody listening anymore. Not really. Uh, But we had some phenomenal numbers last week, and I was very happy with that, and it gave me great encouragement. So encourage me. Uh, Start calling uh, and call me using, uh, using Skype. Uh, and um, if I don't hear from people, say, in, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes, I'll just take this thing in a whole other direction, like off, <laughs> and just play a rerun. Oh, man, oh, man. Come on, folks. I'm waiting. Uh, do I have anything to talk about? Well, I, I got this. Look at this. This is a card I got from, are you looking at that? I, I get this card in the mail, and I'm thinking, like, what's it for? It's like Mazel Tov. And then it says, uh, uh, you deserve to feel all this and more. Congratulations, um, uh, Jack, or whatever you want to, what name, whatever name I'm using. Actually, it says Irv there. Uh, and uh, this was from Irv Jackson. Uh, Irv, well, Irv Jackson. He, it's from, um, <laughs> it's from, uh, you know him as, um, oh, God. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me just answer the phone. That would probably be the easiest thing to do to get me out of all of this. Uh, Jack Bishop. You know him as Jack Bishop, okay? And I know him as, see, 
as uh, as as Irv. He's always been Irv to me. So anyway, hey, <laughs> hello, John Rock. Well, how are you? Hello. I yeah, thought- finally get here early enough where I I can actually get on the you know at the beginning of the show for a change. Yeah. Though so okay. I usually tend up finally tuning in around 11 30 quarter to 12 so i'm more on jack's show than i am on yours these days yeah um, what and what are you doing are you out drinking oh out yeah out uh you know not quite partying but you know i since i work from home i just want to get out in the evening at least go somewhere mostly it's to my local uh beer store and bar which is a very nice place yeah and uh good people and uh you know, and, and, and pleasant enough, but uh, they close because it's a store more than the bar. They close around 10 or 11 during the week. Mm-hmm. And by the time I get back, I'm like, oh, I'll go out. I'll, I'll click on here. And you have like 10, eight or nine people on. They're all yelling and screaming about something. It's like, I'll, I'll call tomorrow. <laughs> it doesn't look like anybody's calling tonight. This is. I know what's going on. I don't know. They're, they're still recovering from Thanksgiving, I guess. I don't know. I, I, I don't uh, think. I, I hope not. I don't know. It's been, it's been. It was very quiet for me. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, I I suddenly realized something, and I felt guilty about it, and I I I should have invited you to come over for Thanksgiving. That one? Yeah, well, that's okay. Don't. No, you know. no, but I, I, I nice. thought about it, but then yeah. one of the reasons I didn't was I assumed that you had somewhere to go. You know, you had some family or something like that. But well, I, I do, but not, but not in this neighborhood. There's a, I have a, a cousin who lives in Brooklyn Heights. Yeah. And and if she hasn't called me by like Monday of Thanksgiving week, that means she's going out to see one of her kids. One of them lives out in. Uh, in uh, Hampton Bays, and the other one lives up in Connecticut, and and so I figure that's where she went. Well, it's like, uh, okay, fine. Uh, this is and an I just this... I just hung out at home and had you know yeah. nice relaxing afternoon, and you know didn't really do much. Uh, everything else around here was you know the bars were closed mostly, and they, I didn't really want to go anywhere. I was like, well, 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 this is an official invitation for next year. Oh, that'd be fantastic! If you'd like actually. to come over, because we we had right. some we had some nice well, I, nice small group, very small group, mm-hmm. about four mm-hmm. people besides us. And, you well, know, I have a good we, friend who I have a good friend who, and he and his wife for many years has done. They're Jewish, but they do a Christmas Day party, basically for everyone who isn't going somewhere else because they're Christian. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or me because I'm because my family isn't in the area. And it's usually really, go- I mean, this guy, they, they really do it up beautifully. And I just got the word today that uh, because of various uh, children and God-grandchildren and stuff, that they're going to, they may not even be in in town this uh, at Christmas. Or, like, Mike, no, that no, is, Mike, hold, on, hold on a second. <laughs> Mike, that's very annoying. Either adjust the camera or don't adjust the camera. There. Sorry. There you go. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, so. boy. Well, well, there's nobody. There's nobody watching years. tonight either. That, 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 mm-hmm. That's the other thing. There's nobody watching tonight. We oh, had, really? Last oh, week, I don't know. For some reason, we in one night we had uh, over a thousand people watching. Really, I missed that. It, one. Yeah, it, it might be the holidays. Well, well the uh, end of it actually. People yeah, are sort of the end of it, get crack, burned crack, out. Crack. You know. Yeah, it could yeah. be. Could be. I mean, it, it's Tuesday yeah. already. Oh, you yeah. know what? I had a friend who was in London all week. You know, it's like. You know, my feeling was bloody bastard. <laughs> yeah, bloody bastard. Yeah, yeah um, lovely time. By the way, him. did you hear the show the other night with uh, with Carter Stevens? Oh, remember Mal Orb, Carter yeah. Stevens? Yeah, he he uh, he uh, he called the show, and we we talked about the good old days. I missed that and one. I, I was hoping wow. you would call because you were in on that conspiracy. You know, was I? <laughs> I remember. Well, you know, Midnight Blue. Oh, that conspiracy. That conspiracy. Yes, exactly. Exactly. The conspiracy to drive time life crazy. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I was just some point or another in the middle of the night, I woke up and remembered the name of the woman. We always have to deal with it at Time Warner. At uh, Well, her name was Charlotte Schiff Jones. Charlotte Schiff Jones. I, don't, I mean, I couldn't remember it now, but I did like about a week ago. Just popped and out of nowhere. And she was married like, to the guy I, who owned the Amsterdam News. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't. Remember, I can't remember. Like what, I can't yeah. remember. What I don't remember him, is. but you know, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, no, Charlotte Ship Jones. She was a. Uh, uh, I have to say, a. Uh, what you know? I'm. I'm noticing. 
that, mm. that on my video, on one of my videos, something must be happening wrong. Because oh, everything's I, right upside down? No, I'm, I'm seeing a replay of when I was showing the postcard here. Uh, the, the, or the, no, uh, the, I don't the, see the, that. The, no. the letter from, yeah, no, it, I'm uh, here. here. Now we're okay. There we are. I don't Big know. delay there. I don't know. Something like that. I don't know what the story is. Anyway, uh, uh, she I, was a, a very attractive so woman. And, and I, I hated having her as an adversary because she was also a very decent, nice person. But she, she was smart, she, very, you know. But she had to do she her had, business. She, had, she was, had to do the company line, you know. Absolutely. Absolutely. They didn't want to have any, they didn't want to deal with anything legal about pornography. So they didn't want to, you know, they, they were saying, well, we were saying, well, listen, we'll deal with that. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> if I, somebody wants to, Thinks that we're too off there, out of the, you know, too far away from uh, the uh, local, uh, you know, whatever they call it, the, our, our, you know, the the standards of the community or yeah, something. Yeah, good, standards. sue us. You know? <laughs> don't sue you. Yeah. It's, no, we're not gonna. You know, they don't. Well, you know, they. For had, one thing, we didn't have any money, and they had a ton of money, so they probably people would have sued them anyway. <laughs> oh, well, they wouldn't go after us. We didn't have the deep pockets. Exactly, exactly. But there was nothing to sue us for. You we know, didn't have I pockets. Mean, <laughs> what, we, to begin with, I've got to tell people, we did Midnight Blue, and that was a show, and it was a sex show on cable, on, on well, public much. access also, cable. We did when more I, than that, When though. I say we sex show, well, but wait a minute, when I say sex show, people yeah. automatically think, uh, you know, blow jobs and uh, pussy shots. No. In 1976-77, we didn't get even close to that. No. We, but we had nudity. Nudity. And we right. had uh, discussions of a frank sexual nature. You know, sure. Oh, very frank. Things, yeah. things like that. But there was never any pornography on Midnight Blue. Ever. Nothing nothing that HBO didn't do later on Real Sex. Well, which uh, let me put was it this way. So I, much uh, like uh, us. Have you did you watch The Deuce? I mean, they actually were showing oh, yeah. hardcore porn. Oh, clips I didn't see that. No, I haven't on seen the them Deuce. Ever. Yes. Wow. So this was the company that would kept trying to put us out of business because we were an embarrassment to them. <laughs> exactly. You know. Uh, uh, there exactly. was this, uh, this phony uh, ad advertisement somebody made up a while back, and it was really quite funny, in which uh, uh, some guy says, Mom, I guess, you know, I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doing an acting job, and what I'm doing is I'm doing this. First, he, I go down on him, then he goes down on me, and she says, Oh, my God, you're doing porn. He says, No, it's not porn. It's HBO. <laughs> <laughs> And it's a very much. you can find it if you well, if you I look tell, for it. I always tell people that that about the worst we ever got and the most most outrageous we ever got in the way of showing actual sex is and not anything worse than Cinemax does, you know, with their with their with their oh. relatively soft core, you know, two in the morning or, or <laughs> uh, show time. Yeah, oh but, yeah, but, but, time, I, mean, right. I, mean, I mean the stuff that you know. they were showing. I, um, I can't try to remember what the name of the show was, but HBO came out with a show a couple of years ago, mm. and they were actually hardcore. I mean, oh, yeah. you know, it, it, very fast here and there, but right, it was right. Tell Me You Love Me was the name of the show. In fact, if you look, oh. it's probably still on, like, HBO On Demand or whatever. Right. Oh, yeah. It's called look, Tell Me You Love Me. That Watch that thing, folks. It's hardcore. Oh, Real, se Real Sex, which was, like, about eight or nine years ago, they, they run that occasionally. Boy, does that look like what we did? They have people on the street asking, you know, answering questions about, you know, what's your favorite sexual position? Gee, we did that. Mm -hmm. You know, they yeah. they had somebody. I, the one I saw a while a lot while back was some woman who was trying out some, you know, uh, automated automated uh, screwing machine or something. It's like, you know, if we had, if there had been one of those, we would probably would have done something about it. And they cut it the same way. You didn't actually see any. Actually, they almost showed what was going on, but she was just going, ah. Well, you know. I, on, the show, like, on the show, it though, was the same thing. On the show, The Deuce, uh, they would, there was always full frontal, lots of penis, okay, yeah. on the show. But then on the last episode, some guy's watching a peep show, and you see what he's watching, and it's mm -hmm. hardcore porn. It's not. Wow. It's not soft core. It's not Cinemax. So it's we all not. Right. Yeah, and I'm going. You know, a, wow. You I know, that. these are the very people who tried to put us out of business for being sure. really quite tame. Thirty years. Thirty years ago. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Well, this was a, also 30 years ago is the other thing that made it that way. Well, uh, yeah, it it's make loosened things, up over 30 years, make but things still. a little different. Yes, Matt, Mark. Uh, Matt, yeah. Mark. Uh, there was a, there was a show is. on uh, Showtime where yeah. a family owned a pornography shop. Mm-hmm. And then her son was a porno star. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. It, was, it got a little uh, hardcore. And it was kind of, it was kind what of, was, what was this? What, 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 where was it? What was this? Uh-huh. Showtime. You said it was so, Showtime. No, Showtime's never gotten that gaming. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. It no, has. I, what, what, about what, this? Uh, no, you, you, you're probably thinking. Okay, maybe, maybe it was on HBO. I don't know. It was probably more on HBO than it was on Showtime. Showtime's or, uh, owned by CBS. You know, they're even more prudent than, uh, than HBO <laughs> would like to be. A little prudish. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't, yeah, I don't, I only, I, I had to trim down a lot of uh, of extra channels just to save money, and I really only have HBO at the moment. So I missed. I used to have Showtime and Cinemax, and Cinemax was the one that really had the the most blatantly, "Hey, we're doing porno here, even though we're not showing, you know, tab A going to slot B." <laughs> you know, but there still was. It was still. It was still people going, "Yeah," you know, and I was like, "Whoa," you know, this is the sort of stuff that if we had done as much as they did. You know, the Charlotte Schiff Jones would say, uh, can you cut some of that out? Well, we please? always had it's to have our, I think we had to have our shows to them, what, five days ahead of time? Something like that? Well, a couple of days. I think I, I dropped them down like Thursday uh, for Sunday or something like yeah, that. Because they uh, ran so the Sunday was, at midnight initially and they would have or to, Monday at midnight. What they hated about us, as opposed to all yeah. these other shows they had, which were like, you know, some fortune teller <laughs> or, uh, yeah. Oh. You know, uh, the uh, what was our old buddy Steve Gruber who just did live talk, right? There's a lot of talk, they couldn't really do much about They had to sit there and watch Midnight Blue every week to make (laughs) sure there was nothing on it. And then they every now and then we get the call, this can't go on, why? Mm -hmm. And then we would get into this fight about because it was really, it was really pissy poor. Their whole uh, the one I the one I always bring up is is the one where I had. Marilyn Chambers dancing naked with a black guy. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was naked. And Mm -hmm. they said, I'm sorry, you can't run that. And I said, why? I said, you know, I thought maybe Marilyn was getting too sexy or something. No, the man's penis is bobbing up and down. Yeah, I we said. Well, that, number one, we I said that, it's yeah. it's bobbing up. We and had that oh, problem but, with the gay with the gay bathhouse the same or something. Thing. With it. Yeah, yeah. And you now, as I told you, I think I told you before. I, I don't think I said it at the time, but since then I've always thought because I had to edit that out. I think I was the editor at the time, so we had to sort of edit around that, or we put up we put up a uh, uh, a slide that says this section has been, has oh, been whenever, censored. Whenever we censored of, something you know, the because they wanted it to protest. Hi, hi Patrick. Uh, he, yeah, hey Patrick. They, 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 we would put up a sign that said yeah. this has been censored by. Well, it was called Manhattan Cable Manhattan at the Cable, time. Right. To protest, call this number. To protest, call this number. Yeah, right, exactly. And that used to drive them crazy. You know, yeah. I don't know if how many people actually called, but the idea of it. But what but, what happened was what happened yeah. was with the bobbing penis up and mm-hmm. down, and I I mentioned this recently on the show, the story. Uh, my argument was, you mean you're not bothered by anything on her that's bouncing up and down? Like You're bothered by the penis is bouncing up and down. Right. I said, I got news for you. Number one, the penis is bouncing up and down because it's flaccid. Right. <laughs> said, it's not. Right. If We're you don't want it bouncing down, up and down, we can go reshoot it with him having a heart on. I said, secondly, right. Right. you're not complaining about her vagina bouncing up and down. Right. You're, you know, I said, I said this is a, a sexual discrimination. Because we're men, and we unfortunately have an appendage that can't stay still when we're dancing. <laughs> right, right. If we we're did lucky. that with the uh, with the the the, the uh, uh, gay the the gay, uh, we talked about the one where you where the one that you show down in Washington with the yeah, with the a uh, bunch of gay guys uh, gay bar, na- yeah, naked gay, dancing to uh, baby face. The, you know, baby face. No, they're dancing around. Well, it was a gay Mostly with their show. butts, but then they yeah. turn around, maybe dancing, and things were bouncing it was, around. It was, it was a gay show. As they are show. want to do. Yeah. <laughs> so it, was, uh, yeah, okay. it was ridiculous. Yeah. But what I called, it ain't the meat, it's the motion. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Because what we usually ended up doing, I and mean, then the last couple of times that they got 
they weren't happy about that. We basically either just trimmed down some of those, didn't show some of that. Uh, and then I think what we ended up doing, if I remember correctly, at least before I left there, I remember that there was, if we had one really sort of out there thing, like, uh, you know, men or girls dancing or something like that, the rest of the show would be relatively tame. As long as the whole, as long as most of it wasn't really out there and there was more, yeah. you know, less, less actual visual sex going on, they would let that go through. Well, even yeah, though the actual uh, sex, uh, the uh, actual uh, scenes were, uh, were worse. Yeah. You know? uh, it, the trouble was, uh, hello, uh, Rob, are you there? Yeah, here he is. Are you there, Rob? No, he's, no, his, his, his picture is. His picture is there, but he'll... he's not. No. Well, he'll pop in in no, a Wait a minute. Let sure. me see here if I can call. Uh, can I call him? What is mm. the problem here? I don't know. I don't know what the problem is. Oh. Let me see if I can call him and get him on. Okay. Add to group call. Let me see here if he if he finds us ringing him. Oh, you're good. You're, you're yeah. centered, Mike, by the way. <laughs> you look okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was looking at you. Yeah. I was just, I'm just kind of curious. How long does it take for you guys to do the filming, mm. the producing of the uh, of the Midnight Blues? Well, there was one well, on every week. Well, we would do week. them over weeks, and we would we wouldn't do this the the current week's one that week. We would we would have a backlog of things. We you know we try to find the best things and add a few, you know. But we could edit, you know, if we were, we record something mm. in an afternoon by yeah. the next day or a day after that, we would have it. Pretty much. Hold, hold on a second. Are you together. are you there, Rob? I'm here. Okay. There now we is. need a picture on you. Um. Well, the, the still picture is glowing, but that's about, <laughs> about it. It's a happy jolly picture. There yes, we exactly. go. There we, yeah, oh, there okay. we go. Turn, there you go. And turn your turn, you're well, obviously is... using an iPhone, so turn it. I'm an iPad. iPad. Because my yeah. I walked into my studio tonight after having not been here for a long time. Yeah. And it is. Freaking the Windows machine in here, fucking Windows, mm -hmm. completely took a shit on me, and the um, everything's Oops. all screwed well, up. Well, turn here. turn your no iPad sideways so we can get the wide shot of you. As opposed, there we go. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, hey. that looks good. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. It yeah. doesn't show here. That's interesting. Okay. It shows well, the same square picture. Well, that's okay. You look terrific. Rectangular to us. does. <laughs> uh, no, but you know the, the the point was is that I uh, we were talking about penises bobbing up and down, Rob. No. Um, there you go. Uh, <laughs> that, what that, else do we talk about on that Tuesday? My, night? That my whole my whole argument on that, of course, was <laughs> that you know you're being sexist about this. That you know a man can't help it, but if he's going to dance nude, he's going to have something flopping around, as I said, unless you want him to get a hard on, in which case we'll be happy to do that for you. Yeah, well, I mean, I won't be happy you knew to they do weren't gonna, right? You know they weren't going to deal with that one. You know, yeah. <laughs> so, but they, oh, yeah. uh, I think they eventually did la let the dance number on because I also intimated they that did. you don't like it because it's a black guy dancing with a white woman. I, I, I threw Ooh, that one yeah, at them, and time, that. time Life didn't like the idea that they might be accused of racism. Mm. So I won that fight. Mm. Uh, but, but you really, it was a week to week thing, man. Was, you just never we, knew. We never knew what, what they was were going to happen. You have accept to, or not accept. You have to understand, Patrick and Mike and, and Rob, that in those days we were dealing with a technology where you didn't just, if now I had a show complete and they didn't like this scene here, I just go in and drop another one in there. It's drag and drop, right? right. And then make another file. In those days, you had to go back and redo the entire show because every piece of that show was edited from beginning to end. You uh, had to rebuild the tape up to, you know, if yeah. you were taking things out in the middle. So you couldn't, you couldn't just take them out yeah. and say, hey, there you go. The you only know, way right. we could take out something in the middle was by blacking it out, and that's why we did that with the censored by Manhattan Cable rather than having to go through the whole process of, of re-editing it. It was easier, and it still proved the point. <laughs> it was like, hey, yeah, yeah. And people did call us and say, "Why are they?" I remember they were like, "Oh, this is terrible that they they're not letting you show this and that." And well, call them, don't call us. No. You know, we're, you, you we're, know, we're, I, I, there's a lot of there's a lot of censorship on the internet. Uh, mm -hmm. But I'll tell you something: anything yeah. that was edited out of our shows, we could probably put up on the internet and not get any Easily. heat from anybody. Easily, yeah. That's how times. I have can't changed. think of anything. I mean, really, I can't think. If there was anything 
the thing I loved about the show over the over the over the time I was there was that you could you could talk about anything and not have to if you wanted to swear you swore and people did yeah. you know if you're talking about fucking you're talking about fucking not about ha- making love or having sex yeah. or something yeah. you know so people talk like they would really talk to people yeah. and you know especially yeah. those those interview the speak your pieces we have p i e c e which was the uh you know was the we used was to get a whole bunch of people a, a, a answering heads. each week we'd have them answering this uh, the same question in other words yeah. we'd ask a and question and we'd have people that, come in like about once a month and do like yeah. four or five four or five questions and they were all their friends and it their a, friends a, and anyone a, else we could drag in thing. there that wanted to yeah. answer rather rather pointed questions about their sex lives yeah, yeah. some but, of them really loved it you know? <laughs> let me yeah let, 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 we, let we you know we enough of midnight blue i you know, okay well yeah that's you know. because i got here first that's oh, why. Yeah, it's because you got there first but uh, yeah. rob what, what did you do for uh for thanksgiving <laughs> uh typical just by my brother's house uh in new york for we got there wednesday and left on saturday yeah and uh, S- spent it with family there yeah yeah was it a nice time to be had by all yeah it was a nice time it's thanksgiving is a one. nice holiday yeah, it's the one yeah. holiday we all share. Yeah, I mean, it's the only one I wax it's Americans <laughs> that I get sweet about. You know, that I get kind of you know, because it, it's just it's it's people. So next year you're invited over here, John. I, oh, I okay. I, I um, thought after do? the fact that gee, I wonder if John had any place to go, and then I heard you on on a Jack show. And you said you didn't, and I felt bad because I had a place at our table where you know you could have sat with us, you know. I I had whole Whole Foods uh, sliced turkey with buffalo seasoning that almost oh, tasted man. like no it, buffalo is that, seasoning. Is, at all. is that fucking depressing? <laughs> it was really was yeah, it was pretty disgusting. That was all right. <laughs> yeah, dinner Whoa. by dinner Lost by Amazon. 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 What what are you doing, Rob? You're you're like uh, you're really like, trying to put, there for You're second. trying to put the place back together. After you... Well, I'm trying to do two things at once, and I don't need this mic because I'm not talking into it. You're right. Too late. Right. But um, I'm I'm listening, and I'm trying to at the same time. Well, what's wrong with your what's wrong with your PC or well piece of I chit as that stands for? I what? came up here chit. and it and basically it it affirms my hate. From Microsoft uh-huh. because because I came up here I haven't been in this room since the last time I was on Gabnet on here before I went to Texas and and I come in and it says there are Windows updates that had to happen and I noticed that the screen looked all messed up so for some reason right now there's a driver problem because hmm. my monitors are all fucked up there I can't get the right resolution Ooh. yeah it just Huh. I, uh, that's the one thing that I really and I, uh, I have Windows. I do the show using Windows, the video and all of that. Doing Windows. Uh, Hate Windows. And, uh, well, the reason I do is because I had this extra machine and because I like the way, uh, um, what do you call it? The Skype looks on Windows machine as opposed to a Mac. In other words, for broadcasting. So I do it. And I so and I found this machine. It made me kind of have respect for Windows because I had not used it Fuck in such Windows. a long time. That's what I, think of I, I, I know. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting that that feeling yeah, that you. Kevin too. Huh? <laughs> but the point is that um, the, um, uh, uh, the the Windows has a tendency. It, it has a tendency. It decides that it's going <clears> to <throat> upgrade you whether you want to be upgraded or not. Hmm. You know, and wind, so, wind blows. So, yeah. So I will suddenly decide to turn off the machine or reboot it because I reboot it every now and then. So I have a nice clean thing going and uh, I reboot it and it doesn't allow me to reboot it without re- installing whatever new little nuance they have decided to put on Windows. And mm-hmm. at least with Mac, I have that choice. You know, I mean, there are people out there, some woman I know wrote on her iPad uh, iPad account or Facebook account that she got a notification from her iPad that it's been like five years since her last update you know so you <laughs> can you, you can update when you want to and exactly. I just don't like the fact that you know I had to find I had to finally turn off something here on Windows that would actually turn the fucking machine off while I was doing a show 
<laughs> in order to update hey. it. And you go, fuck you, Windows. Yeah. You know. But I, uh, I, otherwise, I find it fairly robust. I don't find it as bad as previous Windows products have been outside of XP, which I always thought was terrific. You know. And well, I'm still on 7. I don't even want to go up to 10. I just, I just stay with the old, you know, I got it got this old HP computer about four years ago, and I'm not updating anything unless I really have to. Well, well a girlfriend got uh, the, uh, Lenovo at the office that she brought home. And, That's a Windows, yeah. Yeah, and it, it works great. And then I have another one uh, that she just brought home. But Ooh. what's what's all that? What was that? that I'm sorry, I thought I muted it. I'm getting some flashback from my sound. Oh. Here. Let me oh. mute. Okay. okay. Good Any, now. Yeah. Anyway, so I, um, um, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, the Lenovo. Oh, and oh yeah, yeah, said yeah. Other... I'm ha having trouble getting that one going right because somehow it wants to put itself on the network and that everything where it is on the network gets a, um, um, uh, like on my TV sets and everything, I get the uh, a picture saying that, you know that computer is online, and I don't want that because what it also does is it fucks up all the other network drives that I have. Mm. So you know, I mean, all so right. it, it, you know, uh, Windows, yeah, Windows sucks. But I got to tell you, uh, Apple OS has gotten kind of hinky over the years. You know, uh, I find they have problems too. I, yeah, let's face it, computer, where? computers suck. What? Where, do, where does <laughs> Apple have a problem? I've never had a problem with an update. I've never had a problem with iOS. Oh, I, I, I got one thing. This one, uh, you, you probably haven't even noticed. Uh, when I do a show here and I, I make a file of it, uh, I have a thing so I can throw in a graphic so that the icon for that file is that graphic. So I have a graphic, like I had a Rob Alfano graphic and so on. Uh, and that was working fine for quite a while. And it was good for me because when I'm moving stuff around, I can tell what is what, and I don't just get the same standard icon, right, for the file. Well, uh, in the most latest uh, upgrade of, Windows, of Mac, or the last couple, uh, they made it impossible for me to see that graphic anymore. It, it it completely has disappeared, and I've checked it on all my machines. I've checked. I have three Mac machines here, and all those Mac machines have a tr have problems see seeing the icon. It's not as bad as coming back and finding that you can't use your fucking computer. Well, uh, that's, that's a very a... little thing, really, compared to True. And, and now, Windows no. Well, bullshit. here's here's what I suggest: is that you call Microsoft customer support. Oh, yeah. That <laughs> See how well you do yeah, with that one. Yeah. I'm looking at this Windows update page, and it says, make Windows better. Give us feedback. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, that's the Here's point. your feedback. Yeah. That's the mm -hmm. point. They, it, <laughs> it, well, one thing you should write them and say, if you want to upgrade my machine, let me be the decider on whether that happens or not. Mm. You know? And then <laughs> these Windows 10 updates are, like, epic. I have, you know, I'm forced to use a Windows machine because they give you a work for my work machine. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I, I can leave for 30 minutes and it's still churning. And I got solid state drives. Oh, well, I look, mean, what the uh, fuck? Look, I got to tell you, uh, Mac, if you upgrade like, you know, it's the new OS, right? Or it's a, just an upgrade for the OS, the, the cur most current little upgrade they want you to do. It takes 20, 30 minutes. It's not every other week. It comes out to about every month. No. I mean, I just like, put it in Mac they change something like they want to they want to change iTunes. Okay, and it has to reboot itself. Okay, fine. I come back a half hour later, it's still working on it. Huh. I don't, I don't I haven't had that and, problem. And when you want to With put the in, full upgrade, yes. When the full, it's doing oh, it right. the full upgrade takes ah. three the up, <laughs> full upgrade takes like three hours for crying out loud. No, that includes the download. Now I have solid state drives in this uh, in this uh, PC, yeah, uh, and and those are really good. They're fast. Yeah. I mean, the thing boots up like I I could sneeze and it's booted. Yes, uh, yes, John. Yeah. No, it, but 
I just today, uh, the last couple of times I've logged on on my on on the PC. I'm working on the Mac now, but the PC I have, which is sort of the regular, just go hack hack around and do stuff on. Um, they said that iTunes has there's an update for iTunes. You know, click on such and such and get your update. I'm like, well, all right, yeah, nothing else doing today. I click on it. It goes to basically the Apple store and you see a whole bunch of various icons for all these various Apple products. I can't find iTunes anywhere in there. I can't, how can I update iTunes if I can't find it on their own store? Where is the update? I mean, it doesn't take me, it doesn't do the, it says click here to update it. Well, it doesn't update. It goes to the, goes to the store mm -hmm. or some, to a, to a page with all these other things on and there's no iTunes. <laughs> like what the, yeah. Update all. I want to update it, but I can't if I can't find the stupid thing. So I don't know what the hell that's about. That's right. just, did, you just, find just the update, did you find the update all button up there? Uh, update all. Oh, update all on in, in on the Apple on the on the page, the Apple Store page. On the uh, the, the app page, yeah. Yeah. No, I had. Well, it was basically the. Um, it wasn't that as much. It was. It was you know find 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 updates or whatever. That was the only one. But it sent me say also didn't send me to anywhere where iTunes was listed as one of the things you could do. You could get GarageBand, you could get all these other things, but there was no icon or a location or even a search little search bar where I could say iTunes update, you know. So I won't I mean I wouldn't mind updating it because about every other time I log on, it pops up saying you know, when I go on iTunes, we have an update. Oh, well, yeah, but it's not letting me update it. <laughs> okay, well, an, enough. Now and ever, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, enough of, uh, oh, you notice my communist, right you notice my communist hat? I'm oh, here we go. Uh, bought this in China. Is that because, uh, that's because North Korea just sent up another ICBM? And no, 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 this is, this is, this is the Chinese communist. Oh, that's China, Reds. okay, this right. This is the well. red star. Very good. Yeah, okay. I, bought, I bought this in China. I thought it was Heineken, the red star. Yeah, I, you know what I should wear? I'll wear it tomorrow night. I have a T-shirt that I don't wear out on the street because people will, I don't know, give me a funny look. But it's basically what it looks like is a Chinese soldier with the hat and the, yeah. you know, the uh, tunic the and classic, whatever you yeah. wear. Yeah, only the face is Obama. <laughs> it, but it's a caricature. It's an art. It's artwork. I'll, I'll Who wear gave it tomorrow. you that one? <laughs> and I bought it in China. Oh, you bought in China? Yeah, I'm walking oh, down wow. the street, and they've got. I bought a couple of them, brought them back, but Chairman, I never wore it. Chairman in the, Barack. I, well, I never wore it in the subway because I figured somebody would probably like assault me or something. You know. Well, I have a friend that 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 when he was in, uh, who's been the foreign service guy for a long time. In fact, I asked him recently. I finally got a chance to talk to him. You know, what's it like now where there's almost nobody in the foreign service? Nobody in the State Department anymore, and you're you're a consultant. He said, "Well, I'm a little busier because <laughs> yeah. there are fewer people doing the job." But at one point or another, I think he did this just to just to know that I would never be able to use it. He sent me a T-shirt, and it was I, it was from one of those you know sort of Army Navy store sort of mm -hmm. places, and it had it had it was a black and white picture a black T-shirt with a white white picture of like a little old lady and said kill a commie for mommy <laughs> and i'm like where am i gonna wear this in that yeah, yeah yeah you're not gonna do that anyway let me let me check in with some other people here so what did you do Absolutely. on thanksgiving uh patrick uh went out to my aunt Malcolm's. yeah and was that nice yeah uh half the family made it half the didn't um what do you mean they all died in the process no it <laughs> It, it depends on uh, in-laws who has Thanksgiving in their family. So, you know, when I, like when I was with my ex, it was every other Thanksgiving I would be either at my family's or at her family's. So that's the way it kind of works. Um, so this year it was one of my cousins and the rest of the family, and then one cousin didn't make it. So, yeah. You know. Sorry. But it was nice. Yeah, so I was I was going to say sorry to hear about that death in the family, but you know, <laughs> she didn't make it. Uh, uh, yes, uh, and 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 uh, Jeff, uh, how did you spend Thanksgiving? Well, I kind of had double Thanksgiving. Oh. The first the first part you should know is I cooked the turkey. Bravo! And I, and I brined it. You what? I brined. You brined the turkey. 
My yes. brother did that too. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Now, how do you brine do that the, every year? How do you, you brine the turkey? Soak it. Soak it in what though? You soak it with water, salt, and sugar, and a bunch of other things. Whatever you like. And you spices. do it for like twelve hours or fourteen oh, hours before you yeah. cook it. Yeah. So, in other before, words, you're kind of like, in, in a way, you're marinating it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. What does it make a moist? But, but the point is that it really. Uh, it's an it's a interesting chemical process, and what it really means is the turkey doesn't become saltier, but it actually becomes very, very moist, and, and the turkey is, is delicious. I'll have to look up how to do that, because it sounds Yeah, like it's good. really great. Yeah. So uh, I did that. Uh, we were going to have a small group here, but two people canceled because of other family problems. Uh-huh. Uh, my wife's mother got sick, wasn't <laughs> feeling well. So she says, I'm not going to have like three people here. This is crazy. So she calls up her cousin and goes over to her cousin's place. And they have like 17 people, but I still have to bring my turkey with you. Because they didn't have enough. You know? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, very, very strange. And the people that we went to see, one of them is supposed to be very good. Cook. Yeah. They let her sister do the cooking. It was terrible. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> it, uh, however, it's pretty hard to fuck up a turkey. You know? I mean, if, yeah, you, just, you, know, if you just <laughs> follow the, the recipe, you know, if you just follow the rules... A turkey is probably the easiest part of the dinner to make. I'd say it would yeah, be harder yeah. to make the stuffing than the turkey. You can overcook it and dry the hell out of oh, it. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. The true. That's true. But, uh, or you could put so much into it that it's starting to become very greasy and whatever. But My brother also, deep fried it. She yeah. deep fried it? I've never yeah. Heard. Tell me it's that awesome. wasn't the best, huh? Oh, it's awesome. It really yes. is. Yeah, I've had because we've taken turkey parts, you know, and and deep fried them to give it a test. And man, so Just, succulent, so yeah, succulent. Yeah. Um, My nephew minutes. did that one time. Almost burned the house down. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> in the backyard. <laughs> did you bro? Did you? Uh, it was it your brother. You say? Yeah, he he bought oh. one of those turkey fryers. It's not a, mm -hmm. a homemade deal. One of the butterball. <laughs> Yes. Yes. And so it's a big, was it, huge thing. Was it pretty safe? Oh yeah, it's very safe. It's a big uh it's a big fryer that's made to fry a turkey. Yeah, and it's but a it's huge made basket. Yeah. And you just plop it in, close the top and come back and then you hoist it back up again and it hooks on the edge. Yep. And then you turn off the heat so that the oil doesn't still kill keep, you. Doesn't <laughs> kill it, you. It, the oil is nice and hot, so the turkey stays very moist, but it doesn't That's get it. oily. You would never really know that it was deep fried, really. And, and, it's so and, juicy. And, and, yeah. Really. And, and uh, I'm not a big turkey fan. Well, I'm a, I'm a big turkey fan Hello. for about a day and a half. <laughs> you know? <laughs> then you can get very sick of turkey. You know? Turkey croquettes, turkey, turkey meatballs, turkey <laughs> yeah. You know, there's turkey's only one soup. day a year that turkeys have to look out for themselves, you know, and if they get it's past that, bird. yeah, yeah. But I, I <clears> you know, I, I, I love a good turkey with the, with the, uh, with the gravy all over it. I mean, you got to put, douse it in gravy. And uh, I just, I, I love turkey, especially at Thanksgiving. But that's one of the, one of the only times you usually make it anyway. Most people that's don't. That's it. You know, the only time we make it, yeah, and we had lasagna with it. We always have Ooh. Italian food before it. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, yeah, it's, we're Italian. You got to have you know, you're gonna have a family over, and you're not gonna have an Italian meal, yeah. Well, I so we I, have lasagna and then we have turkey. I had to play it safe because this time of the year I find I'm putting on a few pounds and then I lose them the next day and then they put them back on. You know, uh, it's because of the weather more than anything else because I haven't been going off my diet. So who knows what that's all about. But anyway, so I, uh, I kind of like pulled back a little bit. So listen, uh, while, uh, while, uh, while we were um, off, uh, uh, our dear president just has gone bananas. 
on in so many different levels. Um, well, you didn't take his bills again. What? You didn't take his bills. Uh, he didn't. Uh, he, obviously, uh, hmm. I mean, uh, he it, this morning he goes on Twitter and talks down. Um, what he co the people he calls the Chuck and uh, Nancy. Nancy, yeah, and puts them down. And then he goes to the Capitol, and then he's going to have the Republicans and the Democrats over for a talk. And the Democrats say, "Fuck you! We saw what you wrote. We're not showing up." So now he's <clears throat> all pissed because the Democrats won't show up. And they said, "How can we show up after he says something like that?" This guy is a nut burger. And, and then he props the whole picture with two empty seats on each side yeah, of him. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like right. a, see, really? See, and Andrew Jackson want, on see, the picture they don't behind want to be him. Involved. Yeah. Right. Oh, no, that was that was the other day with the Pocahontas thing. He had the oh, Andrew oh, Jackson. Oh, oh, well, then he yeah. had the he was doing a tribute to the code talkers. I think you, Jesus, you, do that I, was anybody. Ridiculous. Everybody that know was, what the code who the code talkers were? Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, it was during uh, just for people listening quickly. Uh, World War Two. Uh, uh, World War Two uh, in the Pacific, basically. Uh, they uh, they they didn't want the uh, the Japanese intercepting their uh, their. Uh, 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 what do you call it? Their messages to each other, Transmission. and they were sending normal codes. But the Chinese, the Japanese, were very good at decoding. So what they did is they got a bunch of Indians or Native Americans mm -hmm. uh, to use their Native American language as the code, and mm -hmm. it worked. It was Nav Navajo, and Navajo it, is a tough language. Yeah. yeah. You better know how to. So eat. You no grow way, up learning it. You was, don't. Yeah. yeah. There was no way they could crack it. They had no idea yeah. what they were talking but about. But anyway, so he held a thing in, in the White House uh, honoring the code talkers. Why, I have no idea. They've been honored before. Uh, movies have been made about them. Uh, but he... And in the middle of reason. it, he says, and you know, we have a woman that we refer to as Pocahontas. Yeah, he, it, it looked like he was trying to make it into some kind of a joke. But yeah. man, it failed miserably. Well, it, it, it was Warren. What's her name? Um, Elizabeth yeah, Warren. Elizabeth, yeah, Elizabeth that he Warren. Called he Pope. said that uh, he told them that we have someone that's been. He said you've been around for a long, long time, and and we have somebody that's been around a long, long time. We refer to her to Pocahontas, but we like you. I'm going. Holy shit! I do know. Yeah. What, uh, why? Why? Uh, uh, why even bring it up? Patrick, you're the Republican. Why does he do this? I don't know why he does it. I mean, when I, when I, it was as if he started in the middle of a speech. I mean, there was no, there was no lead up to it. There was no rhyme. Or, you know how sometimes you can drop a joke in the middle of a speech? Yeah. Almost every time. Yeah. But there was no rhyme or reason. I mean, other than the word Pocahontas, but I mean... <laughs> Elizabeth Warren is an ugly ass bitch, so to call her Pocahontas is, is I mean. I think she at one time what what brought that on originally was she, she, she Indian blood in No, she said she's like one eighth Indian. Oh. No, more like one thirty second, unfortunately, which is really not. I mean, yeah. a lot of the Indian, a lot of the native groups will allow you to to get or be involved with them and stuff if you're like one sixteenth or one eighth well, or something. But I think she just one thirty second was really she, sort of she brought she, she didn't even have well, any. But she, she brought up that any, she she no. brought up that she had Indian in her. I don't know what well, that means either. That was, I can't imagine. I can't imagine that anyone. helped her get into Harvard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 So what, whatever. And so he called her Pocahontas. Yeah, that was her his way to. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you know, Patrick. Yes, her. The original joke was <clears throat> the Hunters. Yeah. But he fucked that up a long time ago during the uh, uh, campaign. Yeah. It wasn't even supposed to be Pocahontas. It was phone, like people say phone news. Oh, oh, oh Pocahontas. Phone, yeah. Right. So he right. fucked that up last year already. So. Pocahontas wasn't even supposed to be. But why? Why he would suddenly bring her up and kiss her in the so in, random? 
Yeah. It, it, just because he sees the uh, Indians, he it came noticed into his head. Yeah. Part Jackson's of his mental illness. In the background. He's crazy. He has a simple mind. <laughs> it's part of his mental it's illness. The Indians. That's so Tim, by the way, folks. Uh, no, I mean it. It's just it was it was, and of course, a lot of Native American groups are complaining now that he's insensitive towards the Native Americans. Well, did you but, see the? Uh, but, but, but why the should the Native? Wait, why should the Native Americans be accepted? He's insensitive towards everybody. <laughs> to everyone. <laughs> and then, the, and then the press conference was another one. That was great. When uh, Sarah Huckabee tried to defend it, she just kept yeah. swallowing her shit. <laughs> Do you know that Pocahontas was one of the first Indians to become a Christian in that part of the country? Yeah, you would think that would make it more, you know, you think acceptable. Maybe he well, would take that into account, but I forgot he doesn't read. She, he doesn't she, know that. She, well, she, yeah, she, he, she, he just wanted she, to turn she, it into a negative. She period, went. To, she went to. Course. She wound up living in England, as a matter of fact. Oh. Uh, yes, right. uh, Tony. She, do you think if we woke up tomorrow morning and they said Trump died in his sleep, you think how do you think people would react? Oh, uh, here's how I'd react. Oh my God, Pence is president. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody take care oh, of him. Maybe Ryan will be next. He's dead. Yeah. Oh my God. I Make mean, sure two, he's dead. Two, two. You know, you, you know, you know, Pence was took over the transition team and all the stuff, all the all the regs, all the departments that are being torn apart now. He put all that stuff in motion. Mm, yeah. All yeah. behind the scenes and. Uh, just to trash the whole administration. Oh, we get it. He's a douche. Yeah, I get uh, it. Well, he's following. He's doing. He wants to be supported by Bannon and the Mercer, the Mercer, the Mercers. Yeah. Well, you know, the point is that that uh, uh, this guy is just amazing. And then the Roy, uh, what's his name, deal. Uh, Moore. Moore. Roy, Moore. Roy Moore deal. Uh, when he, you know, nobody said he had to get into the fray on that one. OK, but he decided to he decided to basically yes. endorse Roy Moore. Anything's better than a Democrat. Let me get this straight. A child molester <laughs> is better than a Democrat. You know, a judge has been who's been kicked off the court twice is better. A guy who's been a, than a guy who actually successfully prosecuted uh, Klansmen who killed black kids. You know, I mean, it, you know, this is real, uh, really important. It's hypocritical. If they're they all should ask Trump, would you leave your grandchildren with that man? You <laughs> see what he says. Hey, Alex, you know why he's doing it? Why? Because during the primaries, B Bannon beat his pants off. And you know what he's like when somebody beats him at something, oh, and he no. couldn't be on any. Uh, he couldn't have Ben and beating him again. Oh, he you know what I found out. Wait a minute. What do you mean? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. I don't get what you're saying, Tim. Well, he, uh, Trump backed Luther Strange, who was already oh, in that I position. Oh, I see. Okay. And, and Bannon, and Bannon back, backed uh, Roy Moore. Moore, and he got beat by Bannon. And Bannon's like his. Uh, he knows Bannon's really strong, and at least in the conservative crowd. What? So. Uh, He's going to he slide over there. Yeah, well, and he doesn't want to be beat again. He just does not want to be beat, and he can't. You know, it's just like uh, I read an article today that all the stuff when he does these photo ops, he has like the crew from his old TV show, but they had Andrew Jackson portrait okay. during the whole Native American thing who basically signed the law that where they moved the Indians off their land. Nothing is in those... And on, if you know what a set director is, and you, I know you know Alex, that's one of the most important jobs in any movie or TV show. Oh well, wait a minute, where did I see him with that picture with with uh, Andrew Jackson? It was those well, it was, Indian uh, fellows. The, co the, co the Indian. Uh, and they, uh, and they had them in the same room, We're standing right behind, with him. a portrait. Yeah, with a portrait of Andrew Jackson. Yeah, well, so it was set up just like the Indians press hate Andrew Jackson. Jackson. Well, the Indians yeah. not only hate him; he passed a law saying they should be killed. Mm -hmm. And do you know that he lied about his heritage too? He and his dad told everybody up until the '80s, I think, that they were Swedish because you couldn't rent stuff to Jewish people if you were a German. So okay. you couldn't be in real estate and rent to the rich to any of the Jewish people but, if you were if you were German. So he 
he put himself off. He and his dad both at Sweden. You, sometimes you throw, Tim, Tim, sometimes you throw these facts at us, and we have no reference <laughs> for them, and I don't know what the well, fuck I, you're I, talking about. I will post about. it on Facebook. Uh, yeah, that's... No, I'll don't post it on Facebook. There's enough Tim Albright on my Facebook page, okay? <laughs> okay, well, thank you. <laughs> well, you, everybody can do their own searching, but that's... Yeah, but there anyway... There's been several anyway, reporters reporting that. So. Everybody, yeah, everybody was saying, what the hell was Andrew Jackson's picture doing there when they were doing a tribute to Native Americans? It was planned, yep. You think it was... Well, he's got to keep his base happy. He's got to keep the base happy. Well, well, who do you think planned that? Uh, they have a group the in the White House that do that. Uh, nobody thought that that picture would be in bad taste. No, it's the same guy that planted the two empty chairs. Right. <laughs> they have people that take care of that stuff. Yeah. Oh, the empty chair thing was, you know, that was... Yeah. He's I'm, got a set director. Yeah, I'm going to slam these guys, boy. I'm going to get actually them. Im the... He's empowered them because they can't pass... They they can't they, the, the government's going to shut down and Chuck and Nancy can ask for every uh, uh, several things including health care for the kids that was canceled and everything. Yeah, well they now got what, more, what, they're the power players yeah, now. Well, what, the balls in their court. Now what's going to happen with our with the taxes that I really don't pay that much of anymore? Well, no. they should not let this tax pass. There was demonstrations in a lot of congressmen's office. There was demonstrations during the hearing. They had to usher people out. Mm -hmm. People see. And the, and the final score doesn't come out for a day or till tomorrow night on how it affects everybody, and they want to pass it before anybody knows what it's going to do. No public hearings. None. I don't understand this rush, rush, rush. Well, they have to, to do it. They have to do it before the end of the year. Otherwise, that whole thing about majority goes away, and you have to get back right, to Right, they the, go to 60 votes again, right? You go back to 60 votes on anything, and they'll yeah. never get it. They'll never get it. So if they don't get it before New Year's, am I right about that, uh, J uh, Right. That's yeah. why they're making it permanent tax breaks for the rich and the corporations and the subchapter S partnerships. And yeah. temporary for everyone else, like 10 years? Temporary, and yeah. with, the, with the loss of health insurance, mm. they're, uh, they're going to uh, cost us. Everybody's going to well, get tax well, increase. Uh, well, here and then they're going to bankrupt the country, and then they're going to say, oh, we can't pay for this. Well, he, 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 hold on a 10 years from now, and he'll be gone. Hold, hold on you a second. You know sec. what Parker asked for today, don't you? The triggers, they want to put triggers on the bill so if the economy doesn't do so well, that they will automatically cut Medicare and a bunch of other programs. This is a backdoor way to cut Medicare and other entitlements and other spending programs. This is going to cost a lot more than $1.5 million. And when it triggers, oh, okay, though, okay, they okay. automatically have to cut programs across the board. Uh, the point is, let's, let's tell you, here we have Rob Alfano. Rob just bought a house, right? Built a house. Yes. No. Uh huh. And you pay uh, interest, do you? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you uh, you uh, you have uh, all k kinds of things about buying that house that are tax deductible. Am I not uh, like your interest on the house, right? Right. Mortgage interest. Right. Under, under this new plan, it that goes away. No. Uh, uh, okay. Under this new plan, there's a five hundred thousand dollar cap oh. on a mortgage. So if you have a mortgage under five hundred thousand, you're okay. You still get your yeah. I think the house and plan, what, the Senate plan are different. One has well, one I know, that. but neither one of them has. Uh, one of them ha doesn't doesn't uh, touch the the uh, the mortgage deduction. The other one sets the five hundred thousand, and then the other one that's killer for people who live in what they call oh, blue it, states. State tax. Is yeah. the state and local taxes? So they want to cap that at ten thousand a year, and like I know my brother pays more than fourteen thousand a year on his house. You, you know what they did is they very smartly targeted the Democratic areas like New York, L.A. Yep, the, <laughs> right. The, 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 it's politically targeted tax bill. They've never targeted it this specifically before, and it's going to hurt the poor people. They're going to pay more too. I watched and the people, debates on CNN tonight. Hmm. There was a there was a tax bill debate with uh, two Democrats, two Republicans. Yeah, and Bernie and uh, and and Ted Cruz. Yeah, I missed yep. I missed that guy at, yeah. at the end there. Yeah. By, by the way, Bernie, you know, is up for a Grammy. Really? Yeah, yeah his his books on tape or something is up for oh, a yeah. Grammy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I hope I hope he wins that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So he's won something. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Well, you didn't win for president, but here's your consolation prize, a fucking Grammy. You know. <laughs> They're probably Start easy. thanking people. Right. I I'd like to thank Donald Trump. Uh, uh, who knows <laughs> if he'll even win that one? You know, we, we don't know. Mm -hmm. But, uh, um, yes, uh, Jeff. You forgot the one Trump thing that he did over the weekend. That was totally crazy. What's that? And that Only is, one? Uh, well, the, the new one, let's go. Remember uh, before he became president, uh -huh. uh, he, he got in trouble for saying bad things about women. Right. The pussy stuff oh, yeah. and all of that. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's now he Hollywood. said it never happened. Yeah, it's all fake. It's, it's been fake. Yeah. Fake. yeah, we've been joined by Renee. Well, but, wait, never I, happened. wait a minute, we've been joined by Renee. I just want to recognize her as being uh, part of the yeah. group. Hi, Renee. There she is, right over there, folks, if you're watching us. Uh, there, you see, I put her name up there and everything. Uh, so, yeah. he's correct, and I feel bad for Billy Bush now, because yeah. he was all over. I do, I really yeah. do. Billy, he, was, he got screwed over by that, too. Oh, yeah, yeah big time. And now... Trump saying, oh, that didn't happen. Well, what does that mean? Yeah. Does Bush get to go back to, to yeah. Access Hollywood? <laughs> yeah, well, no. Access, Access Hollywood said it was true. They came out and said it was well, true. Well, he said, could it not be true? Wait a minute. Where did that come from? Wait, wait, wait. He was popping Tic Tacs or something. It, was listen, there, like, it kissing? came it came from the same place that uh, that, uh, that Obama's a uh, uh, not an American. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, he is the purveyor of uh, what, you know, uh, what... Uh, um, uh, the, the uh, Goebbels used to refer to as the uh, the big you know the big lie. You say something big enough, lie, yeah. you say stuff enough, over yeah. and over and over again, and eventually it becomes you, true. Okay, you believe it. Now he's Did, he's now in the light of all this harassment stuff going on, saying that that is a fake tape, that he never said that. Well, I want to know whose <laughs> fucking voice that is. OK, because I, I, I uh, when I used to work with Albert, he did a spot on impression of Donald Trump and he couldn't have been that good. OK, Alec Baldwin. <laughs> so, you know, but, but, but he admitted to it already. He admitted, he admitted, admitted that's the thing. He, he absolutely admitted, admitted it yes. at the time. But, but he's, he's, like, oh, he's either just... too confused and too stupid to be president or he's a liar. <laughs> well, he's a little bit of each. Yeah. <laughs> you know? All of uh, Very you know, you know what the scariest thing, the scariest thing in the last five days is a twinkle in his eye today when he mentioned that we'll take care of North Korea. Mm. I didn't see right that one. Yes, the Renee, Renee has her hand the, up. The twinkle in his yeah. eye, Wait it would just gave him glee. Uh, Patrick, did you have your hand up before Renee or did Renee have yeah, her I hand up first? Did. Yes, you Patrick. did. Patrick. I, I'm going to pull a fill here. Yeah. <laughs> back a little bit because I was just curious about something. Um, that Navajo thing took place in the Oval Office. Yes. Yep. And that painting of Andrew Jackson had been there since January. So that's not something that was staged just yesterday. It, it's no. been there since he was in the Oval Office. So okay. He lined up but, the cameras but, that way. but they could have posed him on the other side of the room. Yeah, exactly. You know, they could have. But I just wanted to say that this was not something that, you know, if somebody had some bright idea, we're going to put Andrew Jackson. No, into no, it's been there for but a long nobody, time. But nobody, nobody was not. smart enough to say, don't pose him with that particular yeah. picture in the shot. Exactly. Nobody yeah. had that idea. Because, because they had, I think it was over to the side. And so they had to be on that yeah. side of the room in order it's, to, you know. Yeah, it's been there for a while. To do this photo op. So all they have to do is shoot on the other side of the room yeah. for the photo op. But nobody was smart enough to even think about that because I don't think even his people have any idea of American history. <laughs> so what you guys what you guys yeah, well, Okay, was? Renee had her hand up. Yes, Renee. Okay, while you gentlemen were talking about taxes, there's a couple I want to bring up. Number one, um, the teacher's tax. So five hundred dollars oh, yeah. a year is this piddly little freaking amount the teachers get to t write off of their taxes. Gone. Well, Gone. Public absolute bullshit. Like 
plans, both plans, gone. The next one is gone. If you own it, let's just say you owned a house that is 700,000. Oh, I'm sorry, let me get it right. Right now, if you owned a house that seven, cost $700,000 a year and there was two of you, if you sold it right now before this budget passed, you get to write off $500,000 in taxes. If you sell it after this ta after this passes and you've had five years into the house, you have to wait two more years to get that same amount. So you have to be there seven whole years instead of five years. And who gets the who is going to benefit the most from this budget? Forty two percent of this budget goes to the one percenters. So as you little bastards out there are taking your little kids to school. Please remember that you just took away five hundred dollars from every teacher well, on this country. Can, this can, country. can, can absolute I? Absolute bullshit. Let, okay, let me let me say something here about that, Renee. Uh, I think it's pathetic that any teacher should have to put out five hundred dollars. Wait a minute, five hundred dollars in order to get supplies for her students. Now I've been through this because my ex girlfriend who uh, uh, I was going with back in the San Francisco days, she was a teacher, and we used to, on Saturdays, go to bookstores, and she would ask them if they had any remainders or any extra books that she could have for her students. That's how she got extra books for her students. And I thought that was so pathetic. That the, the, it is. What is it? The schools and the school districts aren't paying for this. But one of the reasons they're not paying for it is they're not getting money from the government. No, yeah. or these they're not teachers, getting money from the tax base. These, Sorry. These teachers are pulling money out of their pockets to do this shit, to buy erasers. To buy. I go, my 12 year old goes to school, and they got a list on the wall that says we need wipes, we need antiseptic wipes, we need paper towels, we need pencils, we need this. If you can donate them, you can. Which is absolute bullshit. Yeah. Why? Who believes out? Who out there believes that there's a teacher in the United States that has the time to stop all of their schoolwork, stop all of their living, and go protest so that they can keep this five measly little five hundred dollar amount discount that nope. they get? And just nope. the sheer fact that Obama, the ACA is, will disappear on its own. You didn't help that. You didn't help the the Hillary Clinton bill from f with all the children. You're taking away five hundred dollars from fucking teachers, and and you're taking over and you're giving that money, the, some of that money to the rich. I don't respect you for any of that. Why would I? How dare you think that teachers should be at the bottom of the barrel yet again? And they don't pay them shit. And, yeah, and they don't pay That's shit. true. Very true. Uh, let me, uh, well, you know, it is, it is, uh, it, it, yeah, it is terrible and it is horrible, but we, uh, we're going to even be giving them less because number one, they're not going to get this $500 deduction because they bought goodies nope. for the, for their class. Yeah. And, and on top of that, uh, we still aren't going to give more money to the schools you know, nope. for education. Oh, we want to give it to the uh, to the uh, what do you call it? The what are they? The, the the other schools, the uh, charter uh, schools. charter schools. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, commercially. Uh, yeah. You know, and they're not, schools. and those schools aren't really vetted, like uh, like you know, like normal schools are. It's terrible. I mean, it, 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 this country is getting horrible. But here's a here's a question I have for you, Roy Moore. Uh, if we all know all the things he's been accused of. And while I don't wish to uh, uh, accuse somebody without proof, okay, uh, I do think there's a good shot that this guy did everything that everybody's claiming he said he, that they say he did. Okay, I mean you don't get banned from you don't get banned from a mall because you're, you're just somebody who's too good looking to be there. Uh, so. Uh, we have to accept that if I were a voter in Alabama, there is no way in good conscience I could vote for Roy Moore. I mean, I couldn't have before, but I certainly couldn't now. And yet this race is neck and neck in Alabama. Mm -hmm. what, is why, that, why? What, wait a minute, what does that say about Alabama? 
They don't now, want Democrats. Part, part <laughs> Democrats are the evil liberals that will kill everything else. Uh, you know, not not the you know, not let us get rid of abortion. Not get rid. You know, if there's another liberal, uh, you know, in in the Senate, yeah. oh my God, we're going to you know. So they're looking at the big picture of everything, not just locally. They don't want anybody. You know, they they want to keep, even if it's not a really lovely Republican, at yeah. least he's going to be on the, in the line with all the other guys. By, by the way, know. by the way, we have a full house, and Patrick has his hand up. Hey, hey yeah. Okay. Not that I would vote for him if I was in Georgia, because oh. I would have to. I would write in Luther Strange. That that would be my. That would be my compromise. But the, the reason, the reason that I think a lot of the Republicans in Alabama are willing to vote for Roy Moore is they're looking at it two ways. One, either none of the things that he's been accused of are real and can be proven, or if they are, the Senate will move to get rid of him, and then the governor can appoint a Republican to replace him. So it is, much like John said, it's a matter of not running a Democrat in there, but the rationale is if we elect him, He's either going to be found innocent where this stuff isn't true, or if the Senate moved to get rid of him, we'll have a Republican appointed by the governor. So let, let, we'll, let's say let's say for yeah. a moment, Patrick, that it's true. OK, mm -hmm. but that we don't find out till after he's elected and now it goes to Congress. Uh, do you think that Congress has the right to get rid of somebody? who's been duly elected by the state of, uh, from which he comes from. Uh, uh, do you think that uh, he should be uh, censured for something he didn't do while he was a senator? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, mean, I, mean, I think I'm it just matters when the proof come out. If the proof <clears throat> came out after the election, I think they can. If the proof was out in plenty of time before the election, say 90 days... Yeah. Then I think but, he, then okay, should. but if there is it's no only proof, two okay, hold on a second, Jeff. Put your, uh, you have your hand up. Oh, turn on your mic, uh, Jeff. <laughs> I think that that if he gets to become the senator, he's going to stay to be the senator because first of all, he he's unlikely to go to court for many of these women. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the the laws that that people are discussing on are no longer they're obsolete at this point because of the the time and all of that kind of stuff, and also because those women don't particularly want to come out in the court or go to t go to TV every day and talk about it, and I I think the other part is the Senate has very little uh, responsibilities to do that. Well, here's the, I, I I agree with you, Jeff. I think that the idea uh, would you quit coughing like that, if you, if uh, Mike, if you're going to do it, turn off your you know muffle your microphone, okay? Um, uh, the the um, uh, you know I wonder about the, the number one. You're quite right. I think that it, it, let's say they do find out that somebody was telling the truth and blah 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 blah. blah and they want to get him out of the Senate. I think they're going to have a very hard time doing it. I just don't think it's going to be that easy. Okay. And the other part. And secondly, secondly, by the way, those cases that we're talking about are so old that the statute of limitations on all of them have run out. Right, so hold on one second. If this, the the Senate couldn't get rid of the two that they know of that are already there. Then I don't think they're going to have power to get. Who are the, who are the, who are the two? Who are the two you're talking about? I don't know if they ever named them. I just remember hearing about them. Oh, you oh, oh, oh the two, two that they alluded to that uh, that uh, yeah. they, Who was the who was the senator? What was their name? Um, alluded and, and to. And they couldn't get rid of them. Then they uh, obviously, you know, Pat, uh, Jeff's right. They're not going to be able to get rid of them. And I want everybody to remember when that guy from. Oh, the electoral college, and he lives in Texas, and he has blonde hair. 
He said he's going to do this because that's what he's supposed to do. Never forget, it's party before country with the Republicans. Always party before country. So well, that's not really fair because I think it's on both sides. I think that's on both sides. <clears throat> Party well, before country in Congress and in the sides. Senate. Like, let me ask you about John Conyers. What should we do about him? What should well, we do? He, he, he already removed himself from one of the committees. No, he's no, volunteering yeah, but, to be in the same thing. And he's waiting to see what other things, sanctions might become of him. And they allowed him to do those things upon himself. Just like what happened with Louis C.K. <laughs> he took it upon himself. Has any has has Donald Trump said he's you know took in any of these responsibilities? No. Do you think Roy Moore is going to if the president of the United States doesn't have to? Hell no. Why would well, you? Well, uh, how about Al Franken? Yeah, that's I was just going to bring that up. It, he it, brought it, himself it, up, right? He, he's he's standing up and he's taking it. Well, you know something. You know something. You know something. I I think he's taking too much of it. Is my opinion. Well. Yeah, I, I kind of think the same thing, but because my he's, my he's question standing is, up and and well, my, and, my, my to begin with that photograph, you don't even hear much about the photograph anymore. No, you you only hear about the fact that in a rehearsal he stuck his tongue down his throat <laughs> yeah. or something. Okay, and that's he said, she said. Okay, but the photograph finally they found the guy who took the picture because somebody took that picture. Mm -hmm. And it turned out it was a gag photo. She was awake. She knew what was going on. Secondly, this woman appeared appeared with was Sean Hannity. Her? I don't think he's touching he, this her. Woman, he's it look this no, woman, not. Leanne uh, Tweeden, I think is her name, uh, appeared on the uh, Sean Hannity program in 2011 and, was a, and was a birther. <laughs> said that Obama, a Obama was, was not an American. Uh, she was a stone birther. I mean, all of this has been done to uh, embarrass what happens to be one of the better liberal voices in in the Senate. Diversion, but, diversion, diversion. Yeah. But they say we are our side is sanctioning ourselves. They're acting like responsible adults and saying that was adolescent bullshit and they're working on it. What are the Republicans doing? They're saying they didn't. Yeah, do but it. I don't think I don't think they're doubling down. I, 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 I think part of, part of the problem I, is is, uh, you know, well, the question is should you admit to any of this, uh, or apologize for any of it? Because even if you do, you're going to get the same penalty as Harvey Weinstein. I mean, it, you know, B B Louis C.K., whose action was nowhere near what Louis, what uh, what Weinstein ever did, is being punished in exact and and exas uh, uh, What's the word I'm looking for? He's being uh, he's being punished in exactly the same way as Weinstein is, losing all these contracts, losing all these things that he belongs to. Same hmm. thing, really, way off different crimes. Yeah, we, yes. We live in a world of false equivalencies now. Yes. It's been that way Jeff? since uh, Breitbart and yeah. Fox took over. Yeah, Jeff? Well, Weinstein Stand was <laughs> Weinstein was fired. Okay? He he was thrown out. Nobody else has been Oh, uh, Louis CK was fired from Netflix, fired <laughs> from HBO, uh, fired from FX. Mm -hmm. Okay, lost all it's, those contracts. It's it's all the contracts he has. And but, Charlie oh, Rose, the same thing happened to Charlie like Rose. Well, now, Charlie well, Rose, Charlie Rose, Charlie Rose, look, all all that Louis C.K. did was ask permission to pull out his penis, and when nobody objected, he pulled it out. Okay? Now and, you, and he did that in front of adults. He did that in front of adults. And you Thanks. you 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 put you put that against what Weinstein did, Charlie Rose, terrible. I've talked to some people here in New York. This has been a known fact for years about Charlie. Really? Yeah, and and there are like already sixteen women who have come up about Charlie Rose. <clears throat> I knew I didn't watch him for a reason. I didn't. I did, yeah. <laughs> always, always look at him funny. I always thought he was. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. I I find it quite interesting that we. We can't we can't tolerate 
a, a sex offender, if you will, or at least maybe an alleged sex offender on our TV screens. But in the White House, it's not a big deal. In, in the Senate, <clears throat> we're all good. Well, that, that's yeah. why I asked the question: Are people are double are doing the responsible adult thing? And and Patrick, the Republicans are. Why are you asking me? I I think I already told you I never voted for Trump. I wouldn't vote for. Not... And and the thing is, Alex is right though, Renee, and, and I know you'll never come to conclusion, but the Democrats are just as irresponsible when it comes. Oh, to, you can, I agree. You can, I completely you can, agree. Uh, come is taking it upon himself, but where are the Democrats saying he should resign? Like they're yelling, you know, that... Um, no, they, they, they want yeah. it to go to an investigation. Well, so they, they want to do, they but, want to go through the procedure. Wait, At least we're not putting it through a procedure. But the thing is, I heard Nancy Pelosi yapping about why well, he's a fucking icon. Well, so is my cop. So what? <laughs> you know, I mean... I can't. No, no, there was a member of the black. I, I want to dispute with that. Wait a minute. I want to dispute. I want to dispute with something that was just said here. I'm sorry, Patrick. Your cock is no icon. Okay. <laughs> I've known icons, <laughs> and your cock is no icon. <laughs> Are, and you're vouching for this. You have firsthand. How do you know, Alex? <laughs> No, well, I'm he good. pulled it out, but he asked me first if he could. So. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but the Two adults. I'm good. The, thing, the Democrats should be yelling for, you know, anybody, because if we're going to clean house on both sides, yeah. just Hollywood. Hollywood's taking no time. They're just stopping those people off. I mean, Kevin Spacey's gone. Uh, you've got... Anybody that's coming out of woodwork, any anybody accused in Hollywood, they're gone. It should be the same thing in the Senate and the House. Absolutely. If somebody yeah. is accused, because the thing that um, Pelosi brought up yesterday was due process. Well, due process is a legal uh, procedure, right. and it has nothing to do with what you're doing in the Senate. It has to do as the voters. And they're representing us. So there's no due process. It's a matter of he had voted think that like Roy Moore. Mm -hmm. He may not be guilty. But as a voter, if I was in Alabama, I think there's enough evidence against him that he's guilty and fucked. And I wouldn't want him in there. Yes. Uh, Jeff. I think one of the things that we, we should not forget is that in the Senate and, and in the Congress, Anybody who is an employee there has to sign a secrecy agreement not to discuss any problems. And that's why a lot of people who have uh, gotten involved in a, a sexual relationship yeah. with a senator or a congressman, a lot of those people got fired. And the lawyers who paid the senators and the congressmen were paid by our our conservative, our uh, our own money. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know, it you were talking about the process and the equal process. There is no equal process. Well, there's also no HR. They have no HR That's to right. oversee it. Absolutely. Good point. Yeah, good point. They have. Um, uh, 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 we know this. Hold on. Give me a few minutes. I have to look it up. Well, they have a process. They have a process. And if you saw the flow chart of the process, it's like any other corporate pro process. You report. Then you investigate. That's 60 days. Then you got another process you have to go through for another 60 days. Then you uh, report the process of the process. Then you go down to the bottom part of the flow chart. And you go on to this process, and then finally you get to prosecute. It's a two or three year process. And, and you get a cooling off period. <laughs> but also, if it was you, and, and our, we're all founded on this in the United States, you are innocent until proven guilty, and right. you've got to go through the process in order to be deemed one or the other. 
then fix the process because it takes too long. And that's why most of these women sit back and look at it and go, I'm not going through all that shit for the next two or three years to do this. You know, I, I don't blame I, I can't them. blame them. And not get a job and, and be labeled a troublemaker because she spoke up. Right. Or, or he spoke up. The process is fucked up. Yes. Uh, Pat. That happened, to, that happened to me. This is him. Yeah. My, uh -oh. I knew my boss was a sexual predator and was affect, was bothering a couple of secretaries in the office. So he kept me from being promoted for like an eight or nine year period. I finally talked to the right people. They didn't do anything to him, but they got, they let me go to, they let me work outside the office for a year. Yeah. yeah. Patrick has his hand up. Patrick. That happens. Patrick. Well, he, yep. he, the thing is with, with due process and, and innocent until proven guilty, that, that's in the civilian area. Again, I'm speaking with the senators and with Conyers, with um, Roy Moore and that. That's a whole issue. I mean, they can be tried in, in the civil court at some point, mm -hmm. but if the decision, do you want sexual predators accused or not working on your behalf in the Senate and the House? No. But, but, but you have to be careful it's not a witch hunt. Yeah. yeah, but it, yeah. Uh, but, but, hey, Patrick, what do you think about James O'Keefe, the filmmaker, the right-wing filmmaker, that had the lady try to fake Washington Post reporters into a, well, a I was, fake I was story? Gonna br I was going to bring that up. But lump for, uh, Mike had his hand up, and I should go to him to be. Okay, yep. Kevin, did you hear about what's going on in our assembly? A couple of the uh, assembly people got caught in a sex scandal, quote-unquote. And they're supposed to have a hearing, I guess, today. On the floor. In uh, California? Uh, yeah. Uh, I didn't hear about that. Yeah, it was a, it's a big, it's a big, you know, it's uh, like, I don't know how many assembly people, but they got caught into it. Quickly, Tim brought up something, and I was going to bring it up too, is this one woman was making the claims that Roy Moore had sex with her, may have even raped her or whatever, and then she got pregnant by him. And they turned out the story was a phony. It wasn't released. It was a, to the to the Washington Post's uh, credit. They tried to vet it, and they found it to be a complete lie. But yeah. this is what's happening now: is that a lot of news organizations, as predators, are having people coming in and lying to them. And s one of them is going to fall for the story eventually. But thank goodness that the the Washington Post is a venerated organization and the guy who is the editor of it now is the guy that was in that movie where they did the thing in boston yeah uh, he did that whole thing so and he looked at this and they with? said phony baloney what was the group she was with? veritas or something like that veritas, yeah which means what veritas means like truth or something like that yeah. this yeah. guy runs a company that's going out lying to the washington post yeah. these are the same people that lied about planned parenthood this has got bright bart all over it fuck you steve bannon well it, hey, you know it, hey. it's it's bound to happen you know hey, hey, hey alex yes Tim. yes it, 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 to serendipity while you were saying all this about the post they were showing the ad for the movie Called the Post. Have you heard anything about that? Oh, that, that looks movie? good. Yeah, no. no. That looks good. Thanks. No, I haven't heard about the movie. Uh, but anyway, uh, you know, I mean, um, uh, uh, a lot of these things are going to start happening where there are going to be plots to try and do something to discredit newspapers and news organizations, and they now they uh, I saw a couple of them saying they have to be on guard now for this kind of thing. Because Absolutely. They should be, yeah. yeah. Because well, I mean, not, even if you thought Steve Bannon was a jackass and you had to watch out for this Veritas and crap like that, you've got Russia. Yeah, mm -hmm. you got Russia, you know. Uh, so you they got, clamp down on the, on, the, on the journalist over there. They're considered yeah. spies now, basically. Yeah. So you know, did you, know what, did you know what happened in Syria and Yemen? Uh, when the CNN does a report about slave trafficking or uh, mass murders, the countries over there can say they don't believe the journalists because Trump says it's all fake news. They're right. using that already yeah. in other countries. Wow. 
Well, so we're getting it from both ends, the bottom, and we're getting it from the top. And what do you what do you destroy first when you want to have a autocratic government or um, fascism? You destroy the free press. Okay, listen, we got to go. I want to thank John Rockwell who just disappeared for having been with us tonight. Uh, also, <clears throat> thanks to you, Mike, for joining us. Rob, glad to have you back now that uh, Thanksgiving is over with, and I hope you get your computer going. Uh. <laughs> Ninety-three percent. The updates are still being prepared. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, boy! Uh, two hours to get to the Kevin. Part. Thank you, Tim. Oh. Thank you, Patrick. As usual, the best. Uh, Jeff, love you. Uh, Tony, yeah. good hearing from you. Is the dog <laughs> new doggy okay? I'll be up in four thirty. Oh, it's and so by the way, Kevin. Kevin. Two more weeks. <laughs> <laughs> She's sleeping right Two now. more weeks, boys and girls. Yeah, and he's got the cowboy hat, and I got the commie hat. And thank you, Renee. I appreciate it, okay? Everybody, do a big wave goodbye so they can see you go away. Bye. Nice to see you. Hey, that's our citizens panel for tonight. Uh, and uh, let me just hang up on them and uh, hang up the uh, all the stuff here. There we go. So the next show can use our wonderful system. Hey, listen, I'm Alex, and that's it for tonight. We'll see you again tomorrow. Stay tuned for Jack and Amy. They're next. And then it, uh, it's Connections at uh, 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. In the meantime, I'll uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same station in life. And when you see her, and if you see her, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? You can tell her I love her, okay? I do. I really do. I do.